my last video or two um but i have a good reason for that so about to get ready we're gonna go run some errands and stuff um i have a doctor's appointment and so does baby i thought i could just sit down and chit chat with you guys while i um put on my makeup and let you guys know the timeline um of what's been going on and stuff so let me just start off by friday Friday, this past Friday, um, my husband and I, we usually go work out together, and on Friday, he wanted to go on a date, since we haven't had a date, like, the two of us in probably two years, I think, like, even before Brayden was born, that was in 2017, so, <laughs> um, so we went to dinner and a movie and we went to go see this real good movie called Miss Bala and um sorry I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I talk to you guys forgive me but um so what ended up happening on Friday was we went to go have dinner and then after that we went to go see that movie but during that movie I felt like I felt like a sore throat coming on like on my left side so I kind of told my husband I'm like Ugh. so I kind of feel like this side is hurting me so um so I wanted to wait till the morning to see how I was gonna feel so I woke up in the morning and it turned out that I do that I did have a, a sore throat on my left side which sucked because I had my workout scheduled at 10.30, so I had to cancel that. Um, and with my workouts, I've been very um, more disciplined on them. Since they are scheduled, you have to book your classes. So I've been a lot more stricter than I am usually than a regular gym. Like the gym, I could just go whenever or I could just not go whenever. But with, with the gym that I'm going to now, I do have to book my classes. And if I don't go, they charge you. So I feel like you're more accountable of going. So anyway, I had to cancel my 10.30 class on Saturday. So I woke up at 8 a.m. I went to the doctor. They checked me for strep. I don't have strep, luckily. But they just gave me like a shot and a Z-pack, which is a good five day antibiotic which I love when they give me that because I feel like great right after so that was one um another reason is um I had said earlier in the year that I was going back to school so school has been taking up a lot of my time I'm um this coming Friday this week is my last two classes so um that has been taking up a lot so we have like essays due and all that stuff and um that's been really stressful um, so after i'm done with my two classes i have just the weekend off and then i start my other two on monday so it's like one after the other so that's been pretty stressful and been taking up a lot of my time really and then um like i said my workouts have been scheduled almost monday through saturday um, every day um and that i do need to take an hour off for myself because we are paying a lot of money for this gym and I feel that like I mean I think all gyms are expensive but this is a little bit more expensive 
um, than usual. So I do feel like, okay, I'm paying all this money. I might as well like go. So, and it feels like awesome after. So after that, um, so that's another thing. My workouts have been taking up a lot of my time and it takes out a lot of energy <sighs> physically. And then another thing I've been noticing is that my son Brayden has turned 18 months and we're actually going to the doctor's appointment now. But um, he has been kind of like acting out a little bit. We usually take him like on a car ride at night so he could fall asleep. But lately, he's been like crying and he wants to get out of the car seat, he wants to go to the front. So we're not doing that anymore. We're not taking him on a car on a car ride anymore. Um, but yesterday he seemed pretty good. So I read about the 18 month sleep regression or something like that. And I don't know if that's what he's going through, but he is having a harder time to nap than usual. So because he just wants to stay up. So I don't know what it could be. They say it could be his canine teeth. His canine teeth are coming out. His uh, lip and I wanted to see his canine teeth and they are red and like they look red and swollen a little bit. His canine teeth do. So I'm just trying to wear him out here at the house a little bit more. He's been definitely exploring the house. Um, I usually have him in the corral with me, but this time like he could push that corral. He could he could do a lot of things. So um, so we're just keeping an eye out for anything. He likes to open the cabinets. Um, he also throws a tantrum. When like I close the pantry door, he wants that door open because he wants to go in. Um, he's just been like uh, really showing his um, tantrums. So that's another thing what we're preparing for because as my friend said, it was like prepare because it's going to be terrible twos, but I'm not ready. Um, what else? So yeah, that's been another thing um, that I've been trying to figure out, um, kind of figure out what to do, how to talk to him, how to teach him, and do a lot, all that stuff. So if you guys have any toddlers or 18 month olds, or if you guys have been through this, um, some advice would be greatly appreciated because um, I just don't know what to do for his nap times. Like his nap times were always on schedule. He would always go to sleep. He would wake up like around eight or nine thirty in the morning. His nap time would be between one thirty and two, and then he would sleep until five, two, two, yeah, like around four forty-five, five o'clock, and then he would go to bed like around eleven thirty, twelve. So. Now it's just like lately, that's another thing why I feel my immune system went down is because I've been staying up to two, three o'clock in the morning because he's up. So that's another reason why I haven't been able to edit because I'm just so exhausted, I'm so tired after that, that I try to find energy to edit or um, and do all that stuff, but it's just, so much you guys i do feel like i am like sleep deprived which is bad and that's why i feel like my immune system went down and why maybe i got sick um but other than that that's what has been going on um oh another thing this weather or it could be the weather i don't know but this weather this texas weather is just like crazy it's like this past weekend it was so nice out and then all of a sudden it's like oh it's gonna be in the low 30s so that has been so weird this weather is so bipolar um and what happened another thing that happened this week is monday um 
Monday my truck wasn't working. So we thought it needed a new battery, but we, I mean, that battery, I mean, I think we, we're almost gonna have a year with that vehicle. And, um, and I was just so surprised that the battery wasn't working. So we would try to turn it on and, and it wouldn't. It would like, all the lights would flicker. So I'm like, okay, this is so weird. So the battery wasn't covered under the car dealership that we bought it from. So they had to take it to like AutoZone or something like that. And they usually they check it before they let you buy the battery. So they ran, I think they ran diagnostics on the battery or they checked it. And, and they said the battery was fine. Like it still had power. So I was like, that's so weird. So my parents think it's because of the cold since it got so cold here. Um, we say so cold here because 38, 40 is just cold for us. But like, I know, I think some of you like on Instagram and my sister and all like, they always laugh when I say it's super cold out and it's like 40s and to them like in New York, 40 degrees, very good weather for them. It's warm weather. So by the way, you guys, it's just my quick mommy makeup. I know I'm taking forever, but this is what I do when I'm in a hurry because we have an appointment to get to. Hopefully we could stop and get a coffee. So also this Saturday, um, we have like a, like a five-year-old's, like it's a, they're throwing her like a huge party, like a quinceanera, but it's called like cincoanera or something. And I'm doing my friend's hair and makeup for that day, um, but we really want to go to the county fair with Bert and Lindsay and their baby girl, Grecia. Um, so we don't know what we're going to do yet. We want to like go because we want to take Brayden, want him to see. I don't think we went to the fair here because I didn't even know what was going on. They should have like advertised it more. And then I know Wade Bowen is going. She told me Wade Bowen was going. I love Wade Bowen. Um, but I guess we'll just see what happens if we do go, like, you know, I want to go have fun, but we'll see. Okay. So I'm just going to finish getting ready and I'll catch you guys in the car. So we are finally at the door. It's 11.09. We have to make, say hi. Good morning. We have to make Brayden's appointment by 11.15. So, we'll be five minutes late, but it's okay. I like this oh, new back road. Take the back road. Take the back road. Who sings that song? I forget. Dirk Bentley. Yeah. <laughs> Dirk Bentley, I think. So, it is 46 degrees out, and I'm just ready for the warm weather. Well, it's going to be 85 by the weekend. Good. I love the warm weather. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have time to go pick up a coffee until after. him in and then the ladies in the front will call us and let us know when Brayden is ready to get seen just because I'm very paranoid there are sick kiddos in there so I don't want him to be around the sick kids I know it sounds bad but I just need to protect him as much as I can especially it's flu season and all that stuff so I know I'm super paranoid but I'm like that even with like if somebody's sick, I try to stay away, so I don't know. Like even with my parents, like if they're sick, I'm like, okay, let's stay away. 
we're in the patient's room, so we're waiting. We're on a strep test on him. We're going to check his ears. Um, but they're telling us that they wouldn't be able to give him his shots if everything comes out fine. So, which is weird because they always have like checked him before he gets the shots. <laughs> not getting his shots so they rescheduled him for the 19th of March um, he did turn out to have an ear infection was it on the same ear or a yeah, different ear the same ear and on the was, same it ear not even have gone away. <laughs> I don't think it was I don't think so he's, yeah. he kept on poking at it yeah, it's probably the same and ear. he came back negative for strep thankfully which is good um, picking up his antibiotics in a little bit um, but first we're going to go get a coffee and then we're also going to go go deposit a check, run some errands and stuff. And where else? Uh, well then you have your appointment at 2.30. And then I have my appointment at 2.30, so. And then by that point he'll probably be falling asleep. Yeah, hopefully by that time he'll be asleep. He's so fussy in there. Well, like, yeah. Well, he doesn't like being held down. He doesn't like being held Can't down, so he was... He was being pretty bad. And then I might want to stop at home goods. Yeah, once we knock out these other few things. Yeah. Can we do that? I'll have to get ready for my Chaminator. workout. So, get ready see you guys grow, grow. in a little bit.
changed and we're gonna relax for a little bit. Brayden finally fell asleep. It's like around 3.30, so um, he's gonna be taking a nap. He'll be going to my workout class. Um, like around 6.15, I have to be there by 6.15, 6.20. I'll show you guys when I'm about to leave, just so y'all could get my, kind of, y'all could see my routine, how it's going to be, and then, um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's about 6 o'clock in the evening, and this is the time that I'm getting ready to go to the gym. My Venus workout shirt with my workout pants, um, screw this up. So this is my workout outfit. Um, I don't go to uh, dress up. I'm just gonna go work out at the gym and then just put on my watch. Usually, how I so, yeah, guys, this is my workout outfit. So I should be heading out the door soon. It is 6.03. Okay, so it's already 6.09 and I'm leaving. Um, my house, uh, I forgot my jacket, so I had to come back and get it. Thank God, I live like two minutes away from there. So. Okay, so I just got here at 6.23, and I'm going to go sign up, sign in, get my treadmill, and then I'll let you guys know when I get out. Hey guys, so it is 7.51, almost 8 o'clock in the evening, and I just got out of my class. I just got home, and it is cold out. It's like 44 degrees right now, so good thing I brought my jacket because I had forgotten it, so I had to come back and get it. So, sorry if the lighting is changing. I just got home, so now it's time to have some dinner. Something very light. I, don't, I try not to eat so heavy, um, even though... Everything I eat is a low carb. Started on dinner. So I'm just going to let this cook until it's nice and brown or a little bit crispy. Um, that's how I like my meat. Um, and then we're going to put it on a nice salad. So I'm just going to let this cook. You can add whatever seasoning you want. I mean, I'm just preparing it however. So this is usually how I prepare my meat and I love it. So I'm going to let this cook and then I'll show you guys what we're going to have for dinner. The meat is ready. So I already have my salad. It's like a garden salad. And then I'm going to be adding some of this ground beef in there. So... I already added my ground beef, shredded cheese, this is a little bit of that here, just put it here on the side, kind of pack it on there, I like a lot of cheese on mine, so this is like, basically guys, this is what I eat, 
um, pico de gallo, which is just a mix of, of jalapenos, onions, tomatoes, um, basically oops, a mix of that. Add some sour cream. Like a big glob of it. To this. So guys, this is our meal for tonight. Um, it's gonna be our dinner. Um, this is we really don't eat a lot of like taco salad, but tonight I was craving it, so I went to go buy um, the ground meat and the salad and everything else I already had. I had the cheese, I had the avocado, I already had the sour cream, and then I'm going to be topping it off with this salsa ranch. It's so good. But yeah, guys, I'm going to probably end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with us. I know it wasn't something too exciting, but this is just our regular days whenever i have my husband um off with me we go do errands like that or if we have doctor's appointments that's our day so nothing too exciting so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm gonna have dinner with my husband take a shower relax and then um yeah I'll probably start loading up this vlog so if you guys want to see more videos like this please let me know um and also, if you guys like this video and you want to see more like this, then give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So, until my next video, guys, I send all my love and all my kisses. Bye. Good night.